The following video contains scenes that are not suitable for everyone. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, my you, you know you watch. All right, viewers and subscribers, my name is Dance Skiller. I'm there here again. Big up and respect to each and everyone. I would like to say big up and respect to my viewers and subscribers within the country that is known as Belize. And I would like to invite each and everyone who are new to my channel to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. Now, I have a video that I'm going to present to you and this video has been recorded within the country that is known as Belize. I do not know when the video has been recorded. But this video is about a group of persons who have been arrested by the police within the country that is known as Belize. Allegedly, it is said that uh, those group of persons was traveling in a motor vehicle and it is said that they were trying to flee from the police. However, it is said that the motor vehicle crashed and those persons had been apprehended by the police. Now, the way how the police handled the situation is being talked about on social media. The video shows persons on the ground and the video also shows when police officers repeatedly hit at least two of those persons who had been arrested by the police within the country of Belize. The video also shows when the police lift one of those persons who had been arrested by the police within the country of Belize and put the person on top of one or maybe more than one person who were in the back of a police service vehicle. It is said that one of those law enforcers hit a device that was video recording what was going on at the scene of the incident. It is said that at least one of those persons who had been arrested by the police was resisting arrest. I did not get any information if the police found any weapon at the scene of the incident. However, I'm going to present the video to you, my viewers and subscribers, and I would like you to take a look at this video and tell me what I think about some of the things that have been shown and said in this video. You can tell me if you think the police handled the situation properly or if they did not handle the situation properly. And I will tell you what I think as well after I present the video to you, my viewers and subscribers. But before I present this video to you, this is a warning that this video contains scenes that are not suitable for everyone. Viewer discretion is advised. Now here's the video. Take a look, listen, and observe. As long as I have safe distance. Man, just stay far. You can't go close. You can't hamper the progress. You have to stay. You have to stay a distance. Just stay a distance. Yeah, 
Good, yeah, you could tag me for that. No, give me anything. Good. Don't worry, I don't know who. I'll make sure I get a phone back. Crystal. No worries. I'll get my phone back. I'll get my phone back. Watch this. Watch this. Good. I'll get a phone back. No worry about that. Step back. I'll get my phone back. No, 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 no. They don't give me no warning, but you know. Good. I like to take the ticket to my face. I don't get it. I don't get it. Let me go. 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 Alright, viewers and subscribers. I'm going to tell you what I think. And I have a feeling that there might be some persons who disagree with some of the things that I'm about to say or all the things that I'm about to say. See? But this is what I think about some of the things that have been shown and said in that video. Now, you see, if those persons shown in the video who had been arrested by the police were actually fleeing from the police in a motor vehicle and then the motor vehicle crash, I think they are wrong. And that is if they were actually trying to flee from the police in the motor vehicle that crashed. See? If I saw the case, them wrong. Situations like that sometimes end up bad situations like that sometimes not end in a good way when it comes down to a situation like that no viewers and subscribers persons can get hurt you know so I mean not only who in the motor vehicle but also innocent bystanders and that's a common knowledge to my understanding you see if you don't have anything illegal on you and if you're not wanted by the police why you try to flee from the police even if your motor vehicle out of date, what I mean like it now, a license, now insurance or so forth, right? Driving away from the police, 
it's not the right thing to do. In the first place, I shouldn't even be on the road with the motor vehicle if the motor vehicle papers are expired. See? And when it comes down to how the police handle the situation, I think that the police could have handled the situation a little bit more professionally. See me? And the police officer who hit the device that was video recording what was going on at the scene of the incident, that is something that I really think about. You see me? I mean, the police should have gave the person at least one, two, three warnings then. See? Even one warning. And if the person are here, then you can do the necessary things by law not against the law but by law see so if by law the person is obstructing you the police officer from doing your work i understand that i understand that but i think that a warning can be given first you see me anyways me just tell you what i think my people saying you can tell me what i think about the whole video that i just presented to you and here's where i believe it so Big up and respect to each other one and until next time, my name is Dan Sass, kill on the big up on yourself, you see? Hey man, you can know where you watch. Dan Sass, you hear me now? Hey yo, Skiller! You are watching Dan Sass, Skiller, Tint.